everybody, Allie Craig here for Social Proof. And when you're on the road, guess what? You commandeer any office you possibly can to actually do your vlog. And more importantly, get the message out here. And this week's message you will not want to miss because on this week's episode of Social Proof, the biggest mistake, we're talking about chasing the cheerleader. Yeah, we all do it because we all see it. Well, pretty much on every single social media platform out there. That cheerleader personality, that person who can do the kooky, the crazy, and more important, the kitschy, and just seems to be exuding with excitement. Why do we love cheerleaders? Well, it's the excitement factor. It's the passion. We are naturally attracted to passion and excitement and thrills. We have far too often, especially as entrepreneurs, we could be a little more introverted than that extroverted side. And when it comes to creating social proof, we feel like our introvertedness is a disservice, not a service. So here's the factor. We can't chase the cheerleader. We can't be the cheerleader, especially if you aren't a cheerleader naturally. The truth is that to create social proof, we have to create consistency. So you trying to be something that you're not consistently is never going to work out. We know this logically, but yet for some reason we still think, ah, what the heck, let's try it. Let me give you a couple suggestions on if you aren't the cheerleader, the way you can still create solid social proof without being that voting persona. So most people who are entrepreneurs who feel like they're a little more introverted think this is a disservice, but here's why it isn't. Introverts plan things out. We think things through. We role play the situations, the scenarios, and we tend to be a smidge more empathetic than our counterparts. Those are two qualities right there, the planning and the ability to be empathetic that can really work to our advantage. Why is that? Number one, we'll already be quick wit, and quick wit is just as attractive and sexy as being the overly energetic cheerleader, but you have to share your quick wittedness to actually get that message out there. So that means you need to get on a Facebook Live. You need to have the smartest sales copy you've ever written, not some vanilla down version. And you need to meet people because when they understand how quick wit and more importantly, how smart you are in your industry, that is very sexy and attractive. Then let's look at the empathy piece. The empathy piece allows us to truly understand where our audience is and meet them there. What a great way to actually be able to show we understand the scope of work at hand. Also, in today's media age, where empathy is massively huge, it is a great piece for us to be able to talk about where a certain audience or demographic could be and then bring it back to our industry. Find that with quick wit and the media is going to love you. Lastly, when it comes to creating social proof that you really are who you are and you're really darn good at what you do, you just have to consistently do it. You know, God bless the cheerleader, but nine times out of 10, the cheerleader isn't gonna be around in one year. They're gonna get bored, they're gonna get tired, they're gonna go shiny object to something new. But the truth is, is that they're not gonna be here. You'll be here. So. If you aren't the crazy cheerleader type, stop chasing the cheerleader. You don't need to do it to create social proof. What you do need to do is use your own personality to your brand's advantage. Use your empathy, use your quick wit, and more importantly, use the ability that you are truly the expert and you're gonna be here today, tomorrow, and a year from now. Use your consistency to your brand's advantage. And that will beat the cheerleader and still gain you social proof every time.